Hey guys, Noah here, and I just wanted to make this quick little video. Yeah, I'm back in the old recording spot. This is only temporary. Um, I need to fix this. But this is not a review. Uh, I'll explain this right now. Um, yesterday, I was watching a review on the um, UCS Millennium Falcon from 2017. And the person doing the review said that um, all of, that most of the, uh, Lego Millennium Falcons that had been made officially by Lego had, uh, well, could only seat two people, and then I left a comment saying how I modified mine so that it could fit four people, and then I got, that comment got some traction, I guess, and some people... And one person asked me if I could make a video about it. So here's the video. Um, I'm gonna... One thing I had to uh, take apart, the biggest part that I had to take off was the... Uh, maybe I can... Pop off the canopy thing. Uh, pop that off and... There, so as you can see, I actually had to take out this piece right here that connected these two so that uh, the actual cockpit would fit. And yeah, I have three protocol droids in there. I haven't actually tried it out with any other minifigures than these four, but I'm certain that it will work. Um, so anyway, uh, to see what I did... Um, I'm going to stop the camera for a second and show you guys. So, just so you know, this piece that goes right in here and covers that part up was not modified at all. Um, but this piece, the other side that goes over here facing that way, uh, was modified a bit so that it would stay on to it better. Uh, you can see I added a 1x3L. Uh, here. Uh, it's the uh, L looking piece uh, that's a plate and then I added this tan piece and that is so that it can fit on the actual uh, piece there. This piece, I only included one of them because it would only fit with one. But what it does is you can connect it there and it's pretty stable. Uh, other modifications were I took out a lot of pieces because I had to set this backwards so that the canopy and the uh, ring around the, uh, or the canopy, I mean this, uh, this piece, I added uh, one more piece there, one more uh, round of rings, and then this uh, one by four uh, tile, and then... Most of this is the same. Uh, I didn't want to change it too much because I felt like it might take away from the look. But what I did change was the actual doorway into it. And the bricks aren't uh, added together the most securely, but I can fix that later. Um, I took out some of this part right here uh, and kept, I added some bricks here so that it would be more stable. And yeah, that's pretty much it, I guess. But now, what you got to do to put it on is just snap it on there. And snap this tan piece together. Um, Alright, so you just gotta put it on like that, take this part, and push it up so that it's like, oh crap, um, I forget how this goes on sometimes, uh, you just push it on like that, I think, that's how it goes, yeah, alright, cool, and then we fold that part up, next is this. This part is modified also to be more round and tile-ish. Just snap that onto the top there. 
Then you take your uh, canopy with the two rings and snap it on to here. And I don't have full use of both of my hands right now, but uh, there is a gap. I will not lie, there is a gap, and that can be kind of irritating to some people, but there's also a gap there in the original uh, version of the wind, of the uh, little canopy piece. There is a gap there, so, I mean, you shouldn't really complain about it. And uh, there we have the ship. It looks pretty nice. And I hope this helped those of you that, if you have this set, uh, I hope this helped you if you want to have it more accurate. So, yeah, cool. Bye.